So we have the cotton package. This is the new drill head, the drill chuck. And this is the what's called the order, I guess. So we are now going to check whether this thing fits like the old one does. It has the same size and everything. Uh, and we are going to do that by removing the old one. We need this tool. I should have shown you last time what it is for. I'm going to remove it just like the last time. I forgot to use one feature and that is actually to use God damn, God damn one hand this knob so we turn it a bit tight and we turn it a bit more there we have it no hands so now you can actually fit the thing without having to hold on to this one and then we're going to tap the drill chuck out so i'm just going to do that one sec on. now we can actually ease up so it lowers there we go and now we have our drill chuck and the next thing we're going to do is make sure this is the same size and then we're going to clean it with acetone and we're also going to clean the inside of this thing because yeah it needs to fit properly so let me just get me some calipers and we can uh, see if the sizes are the same yep so i just finished wiping down the part that needs to fit inside and i also took the clean rack I used the drill chuck key to put the clot with some acetone in there and I made sure it was clean until I stopped seeing stuff like that come out. Then it was good. So now we don't want to touch this part anymore um, because it needs to fit in here. Now there is one last thing you need to check and that is that the jaws so these protruding things are in fact no longer protruding otherwise it might damage the drill chuck in the next step and that is actually we're going to whack it with the hammer so you take your clean part put it in there and you grab a piece of wood and your favorite hammer, whatever, place it on top and you give it one good whack. I'm going, to, going to do that off camera because I'm actually going to need my two hands and I'm too lazy to grab uh, a thing to put my camera in. So just give me one second. So the top part is actually seated. You can see that it moves with the drill chuck. So that's what exactly what we want to see. Uh, and we didn't damage anything else. So now we just need to install it. And we do that simply by inserting it in here, holding it tight. Now we grab our piece of wood. place it underneath and we're not going to use too much force we're just going to push down on it a bit there we go and the drill chuck is in normally if we start the machine it should start turning as well and it shouldn't fall out all good okay, to check whether this cheap drill and i'm sure it will have some deviance is to put a long drill in it because it will magnify the amount of uh, wobble there is 
might also be just because it is a long drill but yeah this is just to check so we're going to turn on the drill and see how much it deviates <laughs> So there's maybe one or two millimeters on a 40 centimeter long drill. So if we shorten that, I am sure it will be fine just for use. Also because there's a lot of mass turning. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how you can actually see how much it wobbles. Uh, the drill itself is also not all too rigid. So it might also be that case. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. So, see you another time.